fled foam underneath us and round us a wandering and milky smoke high as the saddle girth covering away from our glance the tide and those that fled and that followed from the foam pale distance broke the immortal desire of immortals we saw in their faces and sighed i mused on the chase with the fenians and bran sigolan loma and never a song sang neum and over my finger-tips came now the sliding of tears and sweeping of mist cold hair and now the warmth of sighs and after the quiver of lips were we days long or hours long in riding when rolled in a grisly peace an isle lay level before us with dripping hazel and oak and we stood on a sea's edge we saw not for whiter than new-washed fleece fled foam underneath us and around us a wandering and milky smoke and we rode on the plains of the sea's edge the sea's edge barren and grey grey sand on the green of the grasses and over the dripping trees dripping and doubling landward as though they would hasten away like an army of old men longing for rest from the moan of the seas but the trees grew taller and closer immense in their wrinkling bark dropping a murmurous dropping old silence and that one sound for no live creature lived there no weasels moved in the dark long sighs arose in our spirits beneath us bubbled the ground and the ears of the horse went sinking away in the hollow night for as drift from a sailor slow drowning the gleams of the world and the sea and the sun ceased on our hands and our faces on hazel and oak leaf the light and the stars were blotted above us and the whole of the world was one till the horse gave a whinny for cumbrous with stems of the hazel and oak a valley flowed down from his hoofs and there in the long grass lay under the starlight and shadow a monstrous slumbering folk their naked and gleaming bodies poured out and heaped in the way and by them were arrow and war-axe arrow and shield and blade and dew-blanched horns in whose hollow a child of three years old could sleep on a couch of rushes and all inwrought and inlaid and more comely than man can make them with bronze and silver and gold and each of the huge white creatures was huger than four score men the tops of their ears were feathered their hands were the claw of birds and shaking the plumes of the grasses and the leaves of the mural glen the breathing came from those bodies long warless grown whiter than curds the wood was so spacious above them that he who had stars for his flocks gold found all the leaves with his fingers nor go from his dew-cumbered skies so long were they sleeping the owls had builded their nests in their logs filling the fibrous dimness with long generations of eyes and over the limbs and the valley the slow owls wandered and came now in a place of starfire and now in a shadow place wide and the chief of the huge white creatures his knees in his soft star flame lay loose in the place of shadow we drew the reins by his side gold in the nails of his bird claws flung loosely along the dim ground in one was a branch soft shining with bowels more many than size in midst of an old man's bosom owls ruffling and pacing around sidled their bodies against him filling the shade with their eyes and my gaze was thronged with the sleepers no neithering house of a can in a realm where the handsome are many or in glamours by demons flung of faces alive with such beauty made known to the salt eye of man yet weary with passions that faded when the sevenfold seas were young and i gazed on the bell branch sleep's forbear far sung by the senna keys i saw how they slumbered grown weary their camping in grasses deep 
of wars with the wide world and pacing the shores of the wandering seas laid hands on the bell branch and swayed it and fed of unhuman sleep snatching the bourne of neum i blew a lingering note came sound from those monstrous sleepers a sound like the stirring of flies he shaking the fold of his lips and heaving the pillar of his throat watched me with mournful wonder out of the wells of his eyes i cried come out of the shadow can of the fails of gold and tell of your goodly household and the goodly works of your hands that we may muse in the starlight and talk of the battles of old your questioner oisin is worthy he comes from the fenian lands half open his eyes were and held me dull with smoke of their dreams his lips moved slowly in answer no answer out of them came then he swayed in his fingers the bell branch slow dropping a sound in faint streams softer than snowflakes in april and piercing the marrow like flame wrapped in the wave of that music with weariness more than of earth the moiler of my centuries filled me and gone like a sea-covered stone were the memories of the whole of my sorrow and the memories of the whole of my mirth and a softness came from the starlight and filled me full to the bone in the roots of the grasses the sorrels i laid my body as low and the pearl pale neum lay by me her brow on the midst of my breast and the horse was gone in the distance and years after years gan flow square leaves of the ivy moved over us binding us down to our rest and man of the many white croziers a sentry there i forgot how the fetlocks drip blood in the battle when the fallen on fallen lie rolled how the falconer follows the vulcan in the weeds of the heron's plot and the names of the demons whose hammers made armour from conhor of old and man of the many white groziers a sentry there i forgot that the spear-shaft is made out of ashwood the shield out of osier and hide how the hammers spring on the anvil on the spearhead's burning spot how the slow blue-eyed oxen of finn low sadly at evening tide but in dreams mild man of the croziers driving the dust with their throngs moved round me of seamen or landsmen all who are winter tales came by me the cans of the red branch with roaring of laughter and songs or moved as they moved once love-making or piercing the tempest with sails came blanid came blanid macnessa tall fergus who feastward of old time slunk cook barrack the traitor and warward the spittle on his beard never dry dark bella as old as a forest carborne his mighty head sunk helpless men lifting the lids of his weary and death-making eye and by me in soft red raiment the fenians moved in loud streams and grania walking and smiling sewed with a needle of bone so lived i and lived not so wrought i and wrought not with creatures of dreams in a long iron sleep as a fish in the water goes dumb as a stone 